All eyes are on the vaccine rollout and the distribution efforts that are well underway. Our next guest's company is playing an important role in that very process as well. Paul Travers is with us, CEO of Vuzix, and the ticker symbol is V-U-Z-I. It's at new 52-week highs today. So, Paul, tell us about your company and the collaboration that you have um, with Enviro Trainer and how this all works. Uh, yep, Nicole, it's a pleasure to be here first. Thank you very much. We make these things called smart glasses and they're little tiny computers that you can slide down the, the, the rim of a pair of glasses or a hard hat or whatever it is that you might be working with. In fact, you can see some of these guys behind me. Um, the whole idea behind it is they have a really high resolution camera, 4K broadcast quality, image stabilized, yada, yada. What that means is, well, you got the glasses on the camera's looking out in the real world, your hands free, you can talk to the glasses to get things done, but that high resolution imagery can be shared with somebody else anywhere in the internet today. An example might be Ohana One, they use them to do operations in Africa, while what's going on over in San Francisco is an expert helping that person do it. This is the same thing that Infotainer is doing today. They make these refrigerated shipping container systems. Um, and in Europe right now, they just started there. They use our glasses to number one, train folks on how to set it up, how to put these infotainers in a in the fuselage of an airplane, make sure it gets installed appropriately, make sure everything's done correctly so it passes the QA audits and the likes. So they use it for training to do that first, and then second, to actually do the audits to make sure that it got installed appropriately. So when the virus arrives on the other end, it's, it's, it's still viable, it was kept at the right temperature during the plane trip, et cetera. Right. Um, this is very cool, right? So the camera seems to be right there on the side of the glasses. So the image is projected in my own eyes as well, or am I only sharing it with somebody else? Like, does it appear on the inside of my glasses or am I only sharing the image that I'm seeing with someone else so they can see exactly what I'm seeing too? Yeah, it's a two way street. This is like a, it's like a two way phone communication that's got video both ways and audio both ways. So you have the glasses on, the camera's seeing out, and then you're seeing this beautiful high-res OLED image of what the camera sees, but also the person on the other end, the expert can literally draw on the screen, and in your view, you can see what he might want you to do. We, again, right. the operating. So the I operating. can say zoom in, zoom in on that particular part or what I need to see a little bit better, right? Things like that. Um, so I see why you raise so contrast for medical. Yeah. Yeah. Brighten it up, things like that. Anything that we would normally do on our phones, we can now say to do it. And um, and I can see why it would be used for medical technology in particular. So in the foreseeable future here, the applications of your augmented reality glasses are probably going to be used most for what purposes, if you were about to sort of lay them out to us? I know you mentioned a few already. Training. So yeah, today our glasses are designed for enterprise use. Uh, they're designed for training. They're designed, we, we have big box movers today that, you know, in the retail environment that are using them for training folks and in store picking kinds of applications. I mean, this thing is going to change the world of computing. Literally, the next generation glasses we're building look like a pair of Oakleys something you would wear every day. And they have a cell phone built into them so you can make phone calls with them, everything. You think about what you can do with a phone today where you hold it up, play Pokemon Go, walk down the street, you know, shoot the bad guys, whatever. All of that stuff is just going to happen in glasses. So this is not just... Tell me about 2021. Yep. What's your 20 exciting part? What's At the end of next year, you're going to say, we killed it this year because what? The enterprise portion of our business is just accelerating right now. It's month after month, quarter after quarter of growth. COVID was an impetus to help make this happen, but people aren't getting back on planes. There's so many things you can do with a pair of our glasses. You don't need to put a guy on a plane or a gal on a plane for. So 2021, you're gonna see that portion of our business just continue to accelerate. We'll be introducing some new products in 2021 that look like these really cool, sexy glasses that want, people will wanna wear every day. And we have a portion of our business that's in the OEM side, defense, et cetera, 
And in that side of our business, there's a bunch of companies that we're working with that are going to start rolling out our products, our smart glasses, with these waveguide optics that we built. It's a really special piece of technology that we manufacture here in Rochester. And you'll start to see that happen in the defense space. This is the beginnings yeah. of changing the entire computer industry, and Vuzix is one of the leaders in it. It's just amazing. V-U-Z-I, Vuzix, folks. Keep an eye on it. What a move today as well, too. Paul, thanks for the conversation. We'll see you again in the new year and circle back and get some updates from you, please. Paul Travers, CEO of Vuzix. Thanks.